Up until now, the firm was considered to be a black box. Factors of production go in, outputs go out, but whatever happens inside was a mystery. This week, we kind of opened the black box to reveal a rich set of often conflicting relationships within the firm. Each firm was, has owners who hire managers who hire troops to fulfill tasks, which in turn makes the strategic goals of the company feasible. However, while doing so, the owners want more profits, the managers want higher managerial compensation, and workers want to minimize effort for a given task. So, unless it's an exceptionally well-run firm with a cult corporate culture, these goals that these groups within the firm have, they're rarely aligned, are they? So, to align them better, the, the firm sets up contracts. However, by nature, those contracts are incomplete. They specify some part of what's important for the firm, for example, working hours, but they can't really specify how much effort every single worker applies during those working hours. And then specifying the effort is not really possible because effort is not directly observable. But it's this effort that makes the difference for the output of the firm. It's not how many hours of work the worker sits behind their desks. And when there is hidden action or hidden effort in general. When there is something which matters for both parties in a contract, but it's hard to perfectly monitor it, we employ a class of models to predict how that particular contractual element will behave. We call this class of models principal agent models. The principal agent models can reveal, for example, what happens with uh, worker effort when it's unobservable. The labor discipline model um, is just one example of those principal agent models. In this model, the employer proposes a wage which is never equal to the minimum wage. The reason is that minimum wages minimize the wage bill, indeed, but they're not optimal for the firm. And they're not optimal because they extract very little effort from the workers. And that's why firms pay workers more than their reservation wage. That's the wage which makes them indifferent between working and not working. When workers get a positive employment rent, they start behaving differently. They are afraid to lose their jobs and the threat of losing their jobs makes them work much harder. Still, hard work is not a goal per se. It's an equilibrium outcome from the labor discipline model. During the live lectures this week, we'll see how this equilibrium effort of workers depends on two model parameters which we have not discussed so far. The state of the economy and the government labor regulation policies. We'll see that each one of them has a powerful effect on how hard workers try for the firm that they're employed at. So join us online for, or on campus for the, for the live lectures to learn more about this exciting interaction that happens within the firm. And before that, you may want to have a look at the weekly uh, chapter readings from the textbook. And why not read more about it in the, in the two optional articles here? Thanks. See you soon.